Hey folks, today I thought I'd show you uh, a system I haven't shown in a while, and that's the system I use down here in the basement. Here's the basement, there's the TV, there's the couch, all that stuff, and here's the computer desk. I like to uh, use the computer down here in the wintertime because it's much warmer down here than it is in my bedroom, so it's actually nice to just kind of sit down here and use my computer. Um, now... Last month you guys saw that I rebuilt my main computer with that H61 motherboard and a Core i5-2500K. That system's been running great. And you know that I originally tried to use a Z68 based motherboard for that system. That is what ended up going into the system that is down here now. I used that Z68 motherboard, the tried and true one, and I put it in this machine down here. This is of course the case I got 10 years ago for my first ever custom build that's still going strong. Uh, I put the board in there. I ended up getting a Celeron G530 for this particular system for like $25 off of eBay, something like that. It was a cheap CPU, so I decided to go for it just to get the system up and running. And boy, am I pleasantly surprised. The Celeron G530 is actually a really, really good chip. It might as well be a Pentium G620 for all, in, for all intents and purposes. It's a very, very fast chip. Anyway, we'll go over the machine here. Here's the setup. I have the tower down there under the desk in that little spot that was kind of made for computers. Up here's the monitor. It's my uh, Samsung ThinkMaster 204B. Keyboard is a Logitech G15 that was given to me by a very generous friend of mine. The whole funny, I uh, I put this keyboard down here specifically because it had USB ports, but they don't work properly with USB mass storage devices in Linux, so it kind of ruined the point of them. <laughs> Mice work in them, and so do like joysticks and controllers and stuff, but flash drives don't for some reason. So that's a bit annoying. Here I have a Logitech mouse. Logitech made these for Dell, so it's just basically a Logitech optical mouse. On my Merkin mouse pad. See, it looks like the real Declaration of Independence. Even even this part's all worn out. <laughs> Accuracy, I guess. I have an old one of my old Microsoft webcams on top of the monitor here. It's a uh, VX3000, I believe. Uh, I have two of these. One of them has a bad microphone. This is the one that has the bad microphone that just buzzes the entire time. So I'm using one of these um, dinky little Apple microphones from the early 90s on this machine. Uh, it's a elect little Electret microphone that used to come with uh, Power Max back in like 1990, 1991, maybe somewhere around there. What I do is I keep it on top of the printer here. Because if I keep it down here while I'm on Skype or something, it'll just echo. So I just put it up here for the time being when I'm, uh, you know, on Skype or TeamSpeak or some other, you know, VoIP activity. Speaking of which, the speakers I'm using are Dell branded Altec Lansing speakers. Nice, beautiful black speakers. Um, they sound good. There's no subwoofer included with these speakers, but they actually sound really good for their size. Uh, I don't need any. I don't need extravagant sound down here because, let's face it, it's a basement computer. It doesn't matter. I'm not playing music down here constantly. I just need it to do to do my thing, and I don't really need it. I don't really need to be an audiophile about every single computer I have. <laughs> I've kind of wised up in that aspect. Of course, next to all the computer stuff is the networking equipment. There's that. Uh, surfboard modem that's doing very well and my buffalo router and of course this is the printer that I use on pretty much all my computers it's a networked printer I, this is the one I got at the Goodwill for very cheap because someone broke the USB port off the back but the Ethernet port's still there so I use this as a network printer for the house I come down here for printouts all the time it is a LaserJet M1212NF multifunction printer I love this printer the document scanner has been absolutely invaluable. I, I absolutely love that. And that's the machine. Uh, I have an extension cord coming out of the back of the computer that I use for f flash drives. I've been using this flash drive here to do a final paper for uh, one of my business courses in school. So that's kind of nice. So that's the gist of the setup. Let's show you the inside. Here we are. I took the side cover off so you can see inside of here. 
As you can see, I have an Antec True Power 2.0 power supply here. This is the one I opened up with all the Fujiu capacitors in it that somehow still works just fine and has for the past, like, ten years. Don't ask me why. Here's the board itself that's so familiar to all of you. I'm using a stock Intel cooler on the Celeron because there's no point in paying a lot of money for a cooler on a Celeron. There just isn't. Same with a Pentium dual core. It's just really not worth it. Uh, yeah. Below that, I have an NVIDIA GT240 graphics card. Let's see if you can get down there and see it. There you go. It's a GT240. One of the reference GT240s I have. There's the hard drive. It's a 1 terabyte Samsung Spinpoint F3. This is before the Seagate buyout, so these were... This is a, one of the last true Samsung hard drives, and it's a fantastic fast performer. All right. Uh, I have a bunch of drives in here, but none of them are connected. The one that is connected, though, is an Asus DVD drive. And I have four 2-gig sticks in the RAM slots back there, as you might be able to see. Um, 1333 uh, RAM, 8 gigabytes of it, so pretty good. That's really it. It's a pretty simple, it's a very simplistic Linux system. Uh, nothing really to write home about. Uh, and let's take a look at the software. And here we are. This is this particular system is running Ubuntu Linux Mate, which is a derivative of Ubuntu that uses the Mate desktop, or Mate. It's spelled Mate, but it's pronounced Mate because words are weird. Uh, so, yeah, let's take a look at the uh, specs of the system. Take a look at the system monitor. There you go. It's the 14.04 release because I, I'm into the LTS releases of Ubuntu. Uh, has Mate version 1.8.1. 8 gigs of RAM. Some of it's taken up by the, uh, the onboard graphics of the uh, Celeron CPU. It's a G530 at 2.4 gigahertz, which, you know, think, thinking back to what the Celeron is, most people regard the Celeron as a total pile of junk because of the Celeron Ds uh, that were released during the Pentium 4 era. But the truth is, since the Core 2 Duo, the Celeron's actually been a very good chip, and it, that has really proven, proven to be true uh, Recently, you know, Sandy Bridge, Ivy Bridge, and Haswell have really proved how viable the Celeron is, and this one is definitely no exception. The G530 is a very cheap chip, and you get a lot for your money out of it. I have not had any slowdowns on this system whatsoever, and it, it's been fantastic. I haven't had any CPU bottlenecks at all for just doing my daily stuff, watching videos, playing video games on here. It's been absolutely fine, and this is with an older video card too so you know you'd think we'd have to push the CPU more with an older video card but really everything runs great very happy with it it's a dual core as you can see so you know how that whole thing goes now I this is this is the Mate version of uh, Ubuntu. It, may, it looks just like GNOME 2 did in Ubuntu 10.10, .10, for those of you who remember those good old days. You know, just the only thing it's really missing is a search function, but I can live without that because I know where everything is. Yeah, it's just, it's just like the good old days, and I really miss that. I really like that. I have uh, Steam installed, the Linux version of Steam. I have a few uh, app, Windows applications that run through Wine installed, such as World of Tanks. Uh, Microsoft Office 2007. Uh, those are really the only two I have right now. I'm sure I'll add more uh, later on, maybe with a few games or something. But right now, that's really all I have on this system. It runs World of Tanks just fine. It runs it runs Office great, actually. I've been finishing a final paper using it using Office 2007 on this computer, and it's been absolutely great with it. And, uh, yeah, that's the basement system. It's nothing too exciting, but, uh, yeah, Linux has proven excellent uh, nowadays for a lot of systems. Now that I can get, you know, everything I need to run just fine on a system like this, 
what's the point of using Windows? I mean, Linux is much faster on a system like this, especially when it has a seller on it. And I mean, at idle, the system does absolutely nothing, as you can see. So, as far as a seller on system goes, I am. It, this has exceeded my expectations big time. It's been an extremely snappy, reliable, very responsive computer. It might be a bit blasphemous to put a seller on in a Z68 motherboard, but you know what? It's proven to be great. I've had no issues with it, and I really like it. So, yeah, I just thought I'd quickly show you guys the system. Although, quickly, to me, is not quickly, doesn't turn into quickly on YouTube. So, yeah. Anyway, I just thought you, some of you guys might be interested to see what happened to that Z68 motherboard. And uh, this is what ended up happening to it. It's become a basement Linux machine, and it's proved very useful. I've been using it... Uh, pretty much exclusively for the past week or so, and I've been extremely happy with it. So, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and have a good one, everybody. Ciao.